Okay, we're coming towards the end of scholarship pre-season now, with schools going back next week. So Brad, just from a B-team perspective, how do you feel the, the pre-season's gone for you guys? Pre-season's gone really well. Um, we've had two competitive games, so we played Stevenage and then we played Northampton, um, both teams that are a similar level to what we're going into next season. Stevenage was a really good first game. Um, Played some really good football uh, on the front foot, aggressive, uh, scoring six goals was really pleasing, variety of different goal scorers as well, which is always good. Northampton was a bigger challenge, uh, went into half time 1-1 uh, after a really competitive first half. Um, then second half we, you know, we really blew them away, we showed great characters come back from a difficult situation and then um, really imposed ourselves on the game. So the early signs have been really positive. And Liam, similar question to you. Obviously, you're overseeing the the A team for a lot of pre-season. So, how do you feel it's gone for for your team? Um, I think it's been really pleasing, to be fair. Um, so, a lot of them were second years, so they might play a different way. Last year, we've introduced a new way of playing, um, which can have its risks in pre-season with in terms of results. But we've come away from it with two wins, strong performance against Burton. Uh, scored a lot of goals and, and took on the information really well and then a bit of a different challenge against Tottenham who were in our league um, where we maybe defended a little bit more so we've shown we had two fixtures where we could show both sides of the game really and I'm really really impressed with what we saw so far. Um, Pre-season obviously brings up challenges because it was during the school holidays and stuff like that so we've had a lot of under 16 JPL involvement in the squad so Brad obviously is the coach of that just want to talk through how they've got on and and your thoughts on on how that's going really yeah so yeah i've been really proud um of how many of them have been involved a lot of them have come in and trained regularly and then especially in the first week of fixtures we were quite heavy on unavailability for the scholars so they came in i think there was uh, roughly around six in each squad a and b um quite a few started in the b team more of them were on the bench for the a team game but again came on uh, and they've all given a really good account of themselves. It, I think it just shows how strong that group is, that they're competing you know, against players one, potentially even two years older than them. Um, and to say they're holding their own is probably a little bit of an understatement. I think a lot of them really flourished and excelled. Um, so again, I think it just shows the quality we've got in that group. It's shown them what the next step can look like if they are to join the programme next year, which we're hopeful a lot of them are. Um, and it's been great for their sharpness and their pre-season preparations because it's been you know more sessions, more games, and we've definitely seen the benefit of that in their JPL pre-season as well with how strong they've been doing.